Curator has the QDI app, which provides extensive amount of data about uh, the way it's operating, the, all sort of metrics about the system. The problem that QDI has for some customers is that it, it performs way too many searches. It's constantly doing searches, and, and some people don't like that activity. Well, here's something that lies uh, as an alternative to that. This is... Uh, uh, Python program that my friend Josh Morin created in which it generates, you can run it only when you need it, once a day, once a week, whenever you want to, but it's not constantly running and it provides you data like, uh, you know, the, the system, the build version, uh, all the notifications, yeah, all the problems that you may have with there. This actually I run it on my demo system, uh, the licenses that I have deployed and uh, allocated the retention buckets. I don't have any uh, DR, but if, if I would, it would be here. Backup configuration, the servers that I have, the addresses, all the log sources that I have, quite a few of those. And at the end, it shows the, uh, oh, actually the applications that I have installed as well. I forgot about that. And here's the number of rules, the log sources, uh, vulnerabilities uh, in, imported, etc. If you want to run this report on your system, let me show you how you do that. In the video description of this video, you're going to find a link, this link over here, that takes you to Josh more in uh, GitHub. And in it, when you click in here, you are presented with uh, the Python script. You can see it is not very complex it's basically exercising the APIs in Curator and here are all the parts of the report that you see and it's gonna create an HTML report that you just double click on it and you'll uh, you can see it there the only pieces that you need to provide to this is you need to generate a token um, and you need to provide the IP address of your Curator system well for the token I'm sure you, you've done many times, you go here on their authorized systems and you generate a token, right? You don't have to deploy configuration for that token to be valid anymore. And of course, you need to download this Python program. You click here on download. It's going to go into my downloads directory where I uh, actually place the my token and the IP address of my curator box. Notice that I'm running this outside my curator box. I'm running this from my actual actual desktop, which does have connectivity to the curator console, of course. I have opened a terminal window in my Mac. But Windows is the same. And you need to install this uh, Python package called request, right? Which uh, you use Put that instruction and run it. It's not going to be installing in, in mine because it's already there. Once you are there, you move into your, for example, the download directory. And all you have to do is invoke the Python program. It is going to generate that HTML file. If I do that is the file that we want to run. So let me go to my uh, finder or in uh, Windows Explorer in your case. And we can see that that file has just been created and you just open it with your browser and here you have it. Thank you Josh Morin for creating this uh, simple script to get information about your Curator system. If he tells me about new additions that we may want to make public, I'll be happy to create another video for those.